Okay, guys, away day here. Rover Seas crew making their way to Bristol. Ashton Gate here tonight, 8 p.m. GMT. And I am picking up none other than Alexander Haben himself. I have not met the man, the myth, the legend in person. He is supposed to be here. He's running a little late. I don't know what's going on, but I've been here for a while now at, in front of Woking FC Stadium. Up the cards. Uh, but yeah, hurry up, Haven. My prediction is 2 1 to Rovers. 2 0 to the Rovers. To the good guys, to the blue and whites. Let's go, Rovers. Say hi, Alex. Hi, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Half time, two nothing, losing both bad goals. I am not good. Got to come out. Got to come back in hard. Got to do something here in the second half. Going back in now. Halftime update from Haven. Right. I hope that John Eustace is given the best team tour that he's ever given in his life because that defence is a shambles. And Hyam is, is having a nightmare. Uh, Pears is not having the greatest game either. The whole defence, they're, they're trying, they're playing out from the back. They're playing John Dole Thomason type football. I don't get it. I don't, don't know why they reverted to that. But Eustace needs to stamp his, his authority on it right now and get them back to how they were playing when they were solid. And um, like in the Southampton game, the last game, they've got to get back to that. They need a really, really inspired second half to turn this around. Second half upcoming. Get in! Replaced by number 11, Anis 
Vermetti. Also leading the field, number 17, Mark Sykes. Replaced by... Alice Vermetti. one behind us move on and get back to get back to defending well and they need to combine the Southampton performance and the Sunderland performance combine those two together and they'll be okay they've got to get that together for the next game we go to Ellen Road on Saturday gotta forget this move on let's go guys 